The police department there has fired the officer charged in the shooting death of Patrick Leoya. Christopher Schur was charged with second degree murder last week in connection to the April shooting. The now former officer was with the department for seven years and waived his right to a hearing. His dismissal was effective last Friday. Schur was on leave while state police investigated the shooting. He is due back in court next Tuesday. Well, just hours from now, the third hearing on the January 6th insurrection will begin. And we're expected to hear from Jeffrey Rosen. He was the acting general, the acting attorney general at the time of the insurrection. And we'll also expect to hear from two other former top Trump officials. But this all comes as new video was released by that January 6th committee on Wednesday. And it shows Georgia rep Barry Loudermilk giving a tour of the Capitol to a group on January 5th. Well, the next day, a man included in the tour could be heard on another video threatening members of Congress. Louder Milk says that no Republicans gave tours to give rioters uh, so that they could get familiar with the Capitol, and Capitol Police have already investigated those claims. And a reminder, the public hearing, it's going to happen, it's going to change this afternoon's TV schedule, and you can watch it later right here on Local 4 and on Local 4 Plus at 1 o'clock. And then at 3, the U.S. Open is going to air live on Local 4, which means you can watch Local 4 first at 4, only on Local 4 Plus. A Detroit man is convicted in the 2020 murder of a well-known hairstylist. 27-year-old Jimmy Pickett was charged with second-degree murder in the death of 56-year-old Bashar Khalabat. It happened on February 11th of 2020 at a motel on Detroit's east side. Prosecutors say that Pickett entered Kalabat's room, killed him, and robbed him. The medical examiner says that Kalabat died due to blunt force head trauma. Pickett faces life in prison. Sentencing is set for July 13th.